Last time on Kirby's Epic Yarn. Ah! And then you can break free like that. And now the continuation. Hey everybody, it's Dekinosa here with another episode of Kirby's Epic Yarn. In the last episode, we took down Squashini and we squashed his squash. And today we're going to Coco Station, one of the two bonus stages in Treatland. Now this level's actually gonna be very slow. Funnily enough, <laughs> the reason why is it's going to use the train ability. The train ability is a very, very slow paced ability because you always have to go ahead and make a path for yourself and it's going to be a very slow right scrolling level basically. And more likely than not, you're going to mess up the path or something's going to happen somewhere down the line where you're going to have to backtrack or something. You know, there's always something. So you got to watch out for that. Also, when you hit that, um, when you hit that exclamation mark icon, you can make this bead thing up here. Just go ahead and collect as much of it as you can. You're not gonna get all of it, but, you know, as much as you, as much as you can works just fine, because, let's face it, you're not gonna need that entire airplane just to get a gold medal. <laughs> I mean, I know there are few beads in this level, but not few enough to get you to really make, oh my god, don't fall! Decky, come on. Yes. And I like how they have these corridors here with donuts. I really think those were a really fine improvement. Kirby's Epic Yarn has a habit of just making everything abstract appear just nice in this game, actually. Whoa! Sorry about that interruption, folks. But anyways, let's go ahead and collect this treasure item, Choco Otoman. Choco Otoman, however you want to pronounce it. This Otoman is great, but what is it filled with? Let's find out! No. Uh, your guess is as good as mine, folks. No, seriously, guess what's in there. I, I have no idea, to be completely honest with you. No! Don't do this to me! It's not nice! <sighs> okay. Alright, so we grabbed the roulette piece from under that, and obviously, as I neglected to explain, switches can actually turn things in the environment. For example, this thing here was raised for a moment, and now it's not. Why am I explaining this? It's completely obvious, but yeah. Come on! Get me up there! Get me up there! It's not gonna... It's not... I'm, I'm gonna bounce off of that, yeah. <sighs> Let's try looping around this way and see... No, that's too short, Decky! Come on, draw better! Ugh. Oh my god. I'm such a bad artist, guys, I'm sorry. I'm just trying to get a bed made out of chocolate, is that all I can ask? Chocolate bar! This floor mat makes me wonder why there aren't more giant chocolate bars. Yeah, you and me both, Kirby. You and me both. So what I want to do here is actually go up here and get the crystal star from this before I flip that switch, because once I flip the switch, that chocolate bar is actually going to rise up into the universe. And what it's going to do is it's going to cover that entrance, and once it covers that entrance, I won't be able to get in there, and it's going to be like, oh my god, why can't I get in there? Oh my god. So I was able to alter my fate there. I changed the path to destiny and... Things were looking better. What I'm gonna do is actually try to draw a loop around that. See, I'm a horrible artist, guys. I'm a horrible artist, but trust me on this one. You need to break through this, and to do once you do that, you actually flip down that switch, and there's something you can get here. Um, a Ferris wheel. That's right. Now, the best way to go about this is to draw a circle going around it and make yourself go all the way around it, just so that you get all the excess beads that are coming from there. It's not, you're more likely than not just gonna get the, what's I'm gonna call it? You're not gonna get all of the beads there, but it's good to just try anyways. And while I'm at it, I'm gonna go ahead and get the roulette, this roulette piece, because roulette pieces are awesome, you know what I mean? I love interruptions, don't you? <laughs> oh no, 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 I don't wanna do that. Come on, come on, guys. It's not nice. You gotta, be, you gotta stay with me. You gotta stay with the program. You can't just jump off and be who you want to be. You have to be my person because otherwise, if you're not my person, you're not with me. You know? Okay, come on. No, no. Seriously, seriously, seriously. I mean, I'm paying you by the hour. You better do stuff. Seriously, come on. And I have, a, I have a strong feeling I goofed that up once again, so I'm gonna go ahead and make myself a safety path, because that's that's what's up. That's what's up. That's what's up, yo! 
No! No! <laughs> Come on! You can't do this to me. I'm sorry. You you can't do that. I'm 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 a nice guy, but come on, lemony. Okay, what I actually want to do here is try to make as straight a path as possible because I need to get over there as soon as possible. Oh, okay, okay. This is this is crazy. No! No! I don't normally suck at Kirby games. I'm sorry, guys. Oh my god, really? I missed the <sighs> <sighs> okay, whatever, whatever, whatever. I'm just gonna go get the last cart. Screw the rules, I have money. Wait. Did I already get the last cart? I don't remember. Apparently I did. Yeah, I did. Streamlining! I did some cutting just now. Did you notice? I think you did. But anyways, I was just going ahead and getting myself together before I continued on this merry journey called life. And wow, I'm horribly messing up this whole line. Oh my gosh. <sighs> what you normally want to do is get this line of beads here and just it's going to be like an up and down wave pattern and eventually you'll find your way out of this maze northwest sun. No, no, no. Not today. Not today. We got the Hotland CD, folks, and that about wraps up this venture on trains. Let's do this. Ha! So we got a nice haul today, uh, we got 2,402 beads as well as 170 streak, and we got all three of the treasures available in this level, so that about does it. We also got the chocolate patch. I also want to say in the middle of this episode, because I actually don't have the time to actually produce another video for it, today is actually my one year anniversary, June 21st. It's the first day I've ever posted a video related to gaming that actually meant something. And I just want to say, before I continue, thank you guys so much. I really appreciate your company. I really appreciate all of the comments you leave, all of the friggin' mentions, the fapping tweets. I, I guess that works too. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I, I really appreciate you guys sticking around with me for this long. It's really amazing to see you guys supporting me for this long. I really appreciate it, and I hope that we'll have many more adventures as time goes along. Now then, let's continue on Dark Matter. BAM! You know, I, also, I almost called this level Dark Matter. Dark Matter being one of the main bosses in the Kirby series in general, and that's actually a pretty cool thing. I mean, I like Dark Matter. I wish they would include... Or I'm, I'm not even actually sure if they do include him in this game or not. But, you know, since this game was, you know, originally not a Kirby game, you know, I, I should probably do some explaining about this level in general. This level is obviously one of the more shady, shifty levels. You have light sources you can pick up to make everything all brighter, and you also have things hidden in the darkness, for example this. You have a crystal star here, for example, it's just getting you to know the layout of the land, so to speak. And there's Waddle Dee's hidden in the darkness. I don't think they like the darkness, to be honest. They they look a little lonely and maybe a little bit scared, but who knows? Who knows? I'm not a Waddle Dee, I don't know these things. BAM! Now, sometimes you'll get beads to pop up that actually light up the way, and they lead you to treasures like the ghost in a box. These toys can be pretty unpredictable and scary. That's right. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick up this guy. It's virtually useless to do that, though, but hey, he's he's coming at me, so I mean, why not, right? See, the reason I say it's virtually useless is because you can't actually take that with you. You just have to drop it at the ladder, which is completely fine by me, but it's kind of sad, really. You can't take it with you. You can't really light your way very well without it, and then, yeah. Now, you wanna watch out for interesting nooks and crannies like this. You wanna make sure that you look at the walls here, because if you don't look at the walls, you'll miss out on things like this. And this! What's in here is a crystal star as well as the thing, and we also got a roulette piece earlier that's very fine and dandy. Let's light our path up here and get our way to the man room. The man room? What is this madness? And there's some beads over here if you want to get them. There's not much beads, though. 
And if you jump around, you'll notice a little thing like this. Now, originally, when I first played through this level, I thought the intention was that you're supposed to break that block and there's something supposed to pop down, but that's not the case. There's this block right here. BAM! And what it does for you is it gives you a little, um, I'm gonna call it a P-switch from now on. It's a P-switch. <laughs> Until I find out the proper name, it's a P-switch. And, yeah, you just get these beads up here and it leads you to this chest here. Which contains a pumpkin. This pumpkin looks great as a quaint decorative item. Oh yeah! Now then, you sir, get in my hands because I'm taking you on the ride of your life. Whoa, I almost got squished. So, this badge here actually dropped another light source. It's completely obvious that it might be useful to break something with and... Hello, sir. Hi. How are you today? Oh, you're you're aggressive, I see. Stop being mean to me! I, I know you want a hug, but calm down, sir. Calm down. Uh, sir, sir, you're harassing me. I'm going I'm going to have to Sir, sir, I need my personal space. Seriously, you're you're come on, come on, come on. Don't do this to me, man. Don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. Aw, oh, don't cry. Don't cry, sir. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm just I'm just gonna leave you alone now, man. You have you have obvious anger problems, so you know, I'm not gonna mess with you, man. I'm just I'm just gonna let you be, you know? BAM! Ha! What? I didn't wanna do that. Did I just did I just maim a world D on accident? Oh, okay, no. There's just a little brick wall there and another roulette piece as well. And we're on our way more into the future. Let's do Whoa! Dude, you gotta stand in the spotlight, man. I mean, seriously, you can't just expect me to see you when you're just coming out dark and I'm doing 60 miles an hour and you're on the road just walking in the middle of the street and... Oh my god, don't cry, I'm sorry, I'm not... I'm sorry, man, I'm sorry. I'm just going on my way now, bye! <sighs> Alright, so now that we're a fish, we can actually swim around in the water like a madman and BAM! We got a light source. Look at that light source. Oh, yeah. Now, under the sea, you'll find a lot of different nooks and crannies. There's obviously something to break down here, considering you have to carry an enemy around. And if you wait around here enough, you'll see a ghosty. A ghosty that might try to steal your soul. You gotta ignore the, the soul-stealing ghosty, though. Because the soul-stealing ghosties are not cool. I say soul weird. So... Yes, and there's lots more beads where that came from. We got the gold medal from this room here. Normally, I try to get the gold medal from this room here. If I don't have the gold medal by now, it's kind of... I've missed so many beads that it's kind of impossible for me to consider. Whoa! 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 Calm down, sir. I, I realize you're you're upset, but... I mean, there's no reason to... You know, you, you, you can just... You, yeah. I'm not gonna mess with that because, to be completely honest with you... I don't need those beads. I'm sorry. Salamander. Salamander. So, once you pop up here, you can actually grab this pitfall. No! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh. <sighs> ah, that's okay. That's okay. At least I, I, I... Even if I fell, I can just show you the beads that lie underwater anyways, so it's not that big of a deal. But I really... The salamanders are really the only part in this level that I don't like, because you can easily get hit, and that counts as a death for me after I've collected beads, so... OH GOD! Oh, oh my gosh. You don't do that! I'm sorry, man, you don't do that! That ain't nice! <laughs> so, you could go straight up that elevator, but there are beads in this little corridor here. After you get them, however, you're gonna be waiting for a second for that cobweb elevator to come back down, and immediately when it comes back down, of course, I fly to the top of the screen, oh yeah! Now then, we have the last part of this mansion to go through. Bam! Look at that. Debt pitfall icon. And this level actually leads you on to just hop over these holes, but really, I try to go down them the first time because they have lots of rewards here, to be honest. It's completely... What am I saying? It's kind of cool how they have secret entryways and, you know, just not secret entryways, but misleading entryways. Like, normally in a platforming game, you consider a pitfall death. So, it's not something you really go for to fall down a pitfall, but they made it useful. They made it actually worth your while to venture. And we just got the Dark Matter CD, which is awesome. We can play the CD music from Dark Matter now, which is amazing because Dark Matter's music is kind of awesome, actually. 
Oh yeah, the way you can tell legitly that you can actually go down these is if you pull this lantern switch, you can see a torch down here, which makes it a little bit easier to determine whether it's safe or not to go down there because you have light. And what's over here? Oh, beads, okay. Well, pull this switch here and you'll notice a switch down there, so we'll go down here and bam, look at that. We got the final roulette piece, so now all that's left to do is actually beating the level. Bam! I keep saying bam a lot, I don't mind. Ah! Oh no! Oh gosh, oh gosh, bad situation, bad situation. I need an adult! Mommy! Mommy! Okay, I'm done. Woo, okay, so. Once you pull that switch again, they won't actually appear anymore. You just have to complete the level and... Hey, look at that! I got all the roulette pieces and everything in the level, so... BAM! So this level turned out very well, actually. We got 2,865 beads, a 211 streak, and all three treasures as per usual. I always get that. Why do we even bother mentioning it? But who knows? Anyways, now that we've completed this level, we have but one more thing to do. And that is to enter Waterland. But that'll happen next time on The Legend of Zelda... No. That'll happen next time on Kirby's Epic Yarn, man. Until then, take it easy and deck it harder!